Hi everybody, this is Heather Coleman, your intuitive medium and spiritual guide. Really super, super psyched that you're joining me for our Choose a Card reading reveal video. We've got three cards this week from the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And so if you haven't already done so, allow a number to come into your mind. Card one, card two, or card three. And just before we get into the um, reveal, real quickly, I'm just really excited to share with you that I am introducing a new feature um, through the website, and I'll post a link through the Intuitive Medium page too. Um, as you may already know, private readings are $80 an hour, $50 for a half hour. And I know sometimes it's a little tough for some people. Th those readings are very in-depth and detailed, um, which is why I'm super excited to bring you a $5 email reading where you get to ask one question, you get your reading in 24 hours or less, usually less, um, and then this $7 one tarot card reading that you get through email, often, again, less, much less, but 24 hours at the most. Um, and I just want to share that with you all because sometimes that's a little easier way to get a little more personalized reading, um, and it's quick, and two, also, if, it's, if you're really busy and it's hard to come meet in person, you can... Um, do one of those quick, op, quick, very affordable options. So, um, so without further ado, we're going to look at card number one here. So, if you've chosen card number one, we've got the Eight of Air. Now, the, the suit of Air deals with the mind or the intellect, and this card often indicates that we are in a state of a false feeling of entrapment. And what I really like about this deck is we've got this one unicorn kind of charging ahead and showing the others, you know what? You can change the situation. So if you have chosen card number one, what situation are you in right now that doesn't feel good? And you, now the options for getting out of it may not be your favorite options or your top choice, but you have options, right? Um, whether this is a personal relationship, maybe a job situation. The truth is that if there's something in your life that's not happy with, that you're not happy with, and that is stunting your growth, you can and, and will get out of it and change your situation. Um, and part of the reason to do that is so that you do set an example for others. Other people that are like you who may, uh, this doesn't feel right, but I don't know what to do. It may very well be that you need to take the lead here. You need to demand better, whether that's if you're not getting paid enough at work, ask for a raise. Whether there's a personal relationship, you may not necessarily have to end the whole relationship, but maybe you just need to set some boundaries on how much time you spend with someone or how much help you give someone or how much of your time you're giving someone. Set some boundaries because you do have control over the way you interact with others at work and in your personal life. Uh, so that's your message if you've chosen card number one, the Eight of Air. Now, card number two, which is from the Major Arcana, which really encompasses all aspects of our being. We had this card last week. It was in the position, I believe, of card number three. It is Major Arcana number four, the Emperor. Now, again, the energy of the Emperor is more of a male energy, but this can indicate yourself. And in terms of this week's reading, it does, even if you are a woman. The reason that we say this energy is often male is that it is leadership, or in this case, taking charge of your own life. In terms of using your mind and structure and discipline. So feeling your emotions, but not allowing your emotions to overtake your daily actions and your life path. So in other words, if you've done the emotional work of what do I really want, what is really going to satisfy me, and you know what your big goals are, what you want in five years, what job you want, what, dire what direction you want your career and or business to take, what you do when you're in the energy of the emperor is you, know, you wake up in the morning and you have doubts. Even just yesterday, you were very sure that you, you want this and you know this and deep down in your heart you still do but like anyone else and we all have this you wake up the next day and you're like oh, can I do this that's normal so what you do is you write a specific action plan 
you have a daily and a weekly to-do list and you write your goals down. Um, a calendar can be really helpful for a lot of you. So you make it visual. So the reason you do all of this is that when you wake up in the morning, like, is this really going to work? Well, I'm doing it anyway. I have my plan and I'm going to follow my plan. And that energy of leadership, again, in terms of this is taking charge of your own life and knowing that you are firmly driving that train. Now, another interesting thing, and I just dropped the emperor card <laughs> right on the ground. The ground. Ah, love it. So a lot of you didn't realize that this week, the photo that was taken of the cards was actually on a wood floor. First time I've ever done that. And a couple of you were drawn to the wood on the wood floor that was in between cards number two and three. Now, I don't have a super clear explanation for that, other than the fact that there might be some sort of an energy there that's really positive. I'm trying to think of maybe one of my kitty cats likes to hang out there and clean its paws. I don't know. Um, but it was kind of funny that I dropped the emperor card on the floor right before telling you that you were drawn to a piece of wood on my wood floor. Um, it could also indicate that you are drawn to the energy of a transition between cards number two and three. So there could be a bit of energy from both cards it is for you. Because card number three, for folks who have chosen card number three, is the six of earth. Now, the suit of earth deals with our practical, physical, earthly matters. In this case, income and money for really specifically in terms of this week. This has a strong energy of getting out of debt. So if you have been trying to get out of debt, this card is letting you know that you are absolutely wholeheartedly on the right path to doing that. And the message here is that the plan you have put in place over the last one to two years for getting out of debt has been working super well. And it's time to take a, a little sit down and reevaluate that plan, see if there's anything you need to tweak for getting out of debt, becoming solvent. I'm also sensing that this could have an energy of saving as well. Um, the six of earth is often an energy of being able to give materially or and or receive. Again, in terms of this week, it's getting out of debt so that you're not, you, you want to get in, you're, you're moving toward energy where you're not indebted to anyone financially. And then that savings plan often is because when you have money saved up, you are in a position that you could give to someone if they needed help or you wanted to give them a financial gift for a birthday. So again, the energy of the six, it's that giving energy. You're going to give yourself that peace of mind that you're getting out of debt. You're going to be out of debt and you're going to be able to save. So I thank you all so much for joining me this week for our choose a card reading. I really hope that these resonated with you. And again, you know, if you ever feel like you would love a card drawn that's just for you, um, and the reason that the online or email readings are $7 for the cards is that sometimes that gets a bit more detailed. The one question readings are $5 because that's very specific. You're going to ask the question, you're going to get a psychic and spiritual answer to it. So check out the site. You just pay for those through PayPal, leave your email address, and you get your reading in 24 hours, usually a lot less. And strengthontherun.com, click on the intuitive link. Um, check out the Facebook page and, um, you know, just thank you all so much for being a part of all this. It just lights my heart up every week, every day to be bringing you these messages. And um, don't forget about the live streams Mondays and Fridays at 930, which are a little more free flowing, a little more, we might say a little more surprises coming up. Um, you know, sometimes deceased loved ones pop in and say hi, bring us messages from the other side. And it's a lot of fun. And I hope that you'll check those out and interact, comment, ask questions. So I'm wishing you all a wonderful week. The weather's pretty nice as we head into the, um, the Easter weekend coming up. And much love. Namaste. And I hope to see you Monday morning, 930 tomorrow.